The whole third act will be directed towards receiving the results. On the one hand, in order to implement the forces of the first set incorporated into every person, and on the other hand, to manifest them only through the algorithm of your own victory and not in any other way. For a warrior, any impairment of the algorithm of his victory is definitely considered to be a betrayal, betrayal of his own self. I won't get tired of reminding you that here, of course, we talk about the warrior folk. And any other understanding of runic application as well as the position of your own self in this world should not be present in your consciousness. Only by remembering who you are you may achieve the right outcome. Because it is very important to achieve a result by doing it the right way, without betraying yourself or the forces that stand behind you. Victory by any means is a wrong victory. A wrong one. It is a Pyrrhic victory. And as the author of such an idiom once said, if I achieve such a victory again, I shall return without any soldier. Well, one more victory like that and I won't be alive. You can say about yourself when you achieve victory by a completely erroneous way. Here, it is very important for us to learn to really attain results in the exactly correct way truly won't be enough to deduce the algorithms of victory empirically, meaning mentally. Now you should learn to apply them in practice. Learning to apply them in such a way that will completely solidify your right in this world, or so to say, will re-establish your residency with an informational space in an absolutely different quality and with a totally different status. And for that, you need to overcome a certain amount of not as much trials, but rather, let's call it demonstrative performances. You need to show to yourself and the world what it is you can really do. And that the victory algorithm, which you deducted empirically based on your own inner apprehensions, is neither your presupposition, your illusion, your fantasy, nor anything else that makes you look proper in your own eyes. But unfortunately, in the eyes of the forces, you will still appear as a person dressed in a slightly different, strange costume during a masquerade a costume that doesn't belong to you. Of course, we can't allow this to happen. And the runes of the third dead will allow you to find your own force that will rightly support you with those victory algorithms. In actual human life, you will need to reveal the accuracy of your conclusions in regard to your own algorithms of victory, in regard to runes so we law which, while piercing through all the subtle bodies, unites them in a unique, always specific, logical meaning, individual for every person. That's what is called the algorithms of victory, and that is called the proto-foundation good. And the good must be unique for every single person. Believe me, the good can be evenly divided among everybody. Happiness for everybody and let, let no one be offended is a slightly wrong method. It supports neither personal development nor human individuality. Happiness, as the satisfaction of your own actions, must emanate from the rightness of those very actions. They will demonstrate one more time who you really are. The first set was represented by the small triangles, by triads, stable quantities. Feho and Urus transformed into Thurizas and manifested a degree of your determination based on the level of your rights and your willpower, and on the level of your inclusion in the earth, on the one side. Thurizas, as the strength and determination in its turn, implied both the power of Anzus and the power of Kenas, which in its own turn enabled to comprehend the system of balance, leading to Vunyo as a final result. And this is how we proceeded in the first set, via these triads, via these connected, stable designs. The second set differed from the first one in the way that every rune followed one after the other, as if each one of them transformed and led to the next one, one by one, one by one, and only consecutive transformation could lead us to rune so we law. But the third set will go on in a slightly different format. It has its own algorithmic, its own frequency. At least the first four runes are being viewed as pairs, and every rune of the first and second pair, they are diametrically opposed to each other. There is also a particular meaning in it, a secret that I will reveal to you after the fourth rune, so that you don't initially induce yourself, won't program your consciousness into obtaining a certain specific result. 
Only after passing the first four runes in their entirety will you be able to draw a conclusion in regards to your own self. And then the fifth rune will become a logical representation of what you have manifested during the first four runes of the third Ed.